Hello everybody, this is uh, Keeping Antagonist here with another video. Today we're going to be talking about game plans, strategies, functions, all that good stuff. Hopefully this video will be a lot more concise than the other ones. So, let's get right into it, shall we? So, first off, what is a game plan? <laughs> so, the game plan is what do you want to do? So, what do you want to do? So, let's talk about the parts of a game plan. Or at least to me, there are two parts of a game plan. The fundamental and then the function. So, what is the fundamental? The fundamental refers to the fighting game fundamental. These are things that transfer between any fighting game. So, stuff like, what's a poke? What's a punishment? You know, what's a punishment? What's a punish? You know, mix-ups, evasion, defense. Uh, I consider throws fundamentals, because if you don't know how to deal with them in any fighting game, you're going to get messed up. <laughs> um, you know, stuff like that, rush down. Those are all fighting game fundamentals. They're kind of like the big overarching concept. And that's one part of a game plan. The next part of the game plan is the function. So one is the uh, function, and we're, we're only going to discuss the functions for two specific fundamentals here, and that's would be rush down and keep out. Every single last one of these, these uh, fundamentals could warrant at least, at the very least, a whole video onto itself and there are a lot of them. <laughs> there are a lot of them uh, just a whole lot way too many to even say so what are the functions so let's talk about two um fundamentals here rush down and keep out so what does it mean to rush down well in my opinion i want to use fast moves or not necessarily even fast. I just want to keep my turn flowing and force you into making a mistake. So what are some options I'll use for rush down with Asuka? Use her one jab, her down forward one, and her down four. All of these are pretty minus on block, but they're really, well, her one jab and her down forward one are really plus on hit. But the cool thing is I can sidestep after these. So I can do that into sidestep. I can do down four one into sidestep. Even down four and a sidestep. So because I can sidestep, if I can get you afraid of the sidestep, i.e. get you to respect my ability to sidestep, that would enable me to use more moves. And depending on how much respect you give me, I could potentially use my entire command list. So one jab down four one, let's just use that for rush down. So for keep out. Well, for keep out, there's multiple parts, and that's why I said there's you could make a video for all of these because I consider keep out part of spacing. <laughs> so, anyway, let's just name two moves. So for keep out, down four and four, literally keeps you out, and it's I twelve on hit or on block, you're in range two. So I'm free to back dash after that move. So let's say down forward four. And then, um, let's use another one, down two. Long range, counter hit launches, and it's only minus four on block, you know. It hits from range two. So, those are two, those are some functions that I can use to execute the fundamental for keep out and rush down. So, uh, remember, reminder, a game plan has two parts, the fundamental, and then the functions. So the fundamental, rush down, one, down four, one, uh, are the functions for rush down and for keep out, my functions, down forward, four, and whatever other moves I want to use to keep you from getting in. I just, those are just some examples. That's not even close to all of the, <laughs> the options, but just some examples. You can make a video on all of those. So, now that I've kind of gave you some examples of the fundamentals and the functions, 
Let's talk about how you can combine these. How do I combine Rushdown and Keep Out? Ooh. So, let's say we have a sequence here. So let's say I want to do down four, one, into sidestep, one, three, down forward, four, back dash, and then down two. Let's say that is my sequence. I'm going to go through the individual parts of this and kind of identify where it changes, but first I want to demonstrate it because I've pre-recorded this sequence. So let's try it out. I'm going to try to interrupt her and I'm going to try to mimic what someone would probably do if they're hit might do if they're hit with this scent with with this sequence so okay did you guys catch that I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna explain it now so on block right let me just go ahead and change this to stand guard I want you to guard all and I want you to stand so on block this is minus three meaning I can sidestep after this so I do boom sidestep if I press a button you press a button that is linear that is you know linear or, or something like that you know I do one three you know one even if you didn't press anything that is not a bad option but if you pressed anything I would interrupt you but because I sidestepped you, I'm not expecting you to block this low in this three, right? The three is zero on hit, neutral on hit. So that means my down forward four will then come out in 12 frames. Meaning you would have to do a very specific move to interrupt this down forward four. You would, you would have to, you know. And then after my down forward four, I can backdash, right? Because, you know, we've already identified down 4-4 four four is a good move. Because it puts you, it's good for keep out. I can back dash, and then I can do down 2. You can't always do that. But, you know, I don't have to do down 2. I could do, <laughs> you know, that's just one of the, that's just a option. So really, I did that into 1-3, and right here is when I sit switch to keep out. And that is because down forward four, why, why does this work? This is because down forward four is almost like a hybrid move. Because it is so fast, it is not a bad idea to use in close quarters like this. But it also serves as a good keep out move because it instantly puts me at range two. So I'm able to seamlessly transition between game plans that way um, so that's just an example of how you can combine um, you know how you can how you can combine game plans so and for my last uh, kind of topic here so there are two types of game plans we already compo we already said what composes a game plan the fundamental and then the function but there are the two types of game plans so you've got the, um, the player game plan so what do I want to do as a player? What does human antagonist want to do as a player? I'm very defensive. Very, very defensive. Um, I don't like risks. And when I'm up close, I want to play a very compact, safe kind of fundamental game. So that's just what I want to do. I'm very defensive. I'm not the big rushdown guy. So that's my game plan. So I should pick a character that fits more like my game plan, but I'm, I can also be very balanced, right? So I should pick a character that fits more in tune with my game plan. So what does Asuka want to do? Asuka is very defensive, and she doesn't want to rush down. She doesn't want to rush down either. <laughs> because like I just mentioned, with rushdown, some of the best rushdown tools are single jabs, down forward ones, and hers are not very good if you're trying to use them for that. So like with this jab, I have to scare you with a sidestep because it's minus, uh, her jab is minus two on block, 
whereas lots of jabs are plus one on block. You know, her down four one is minus three on block. So if I do down four one into down four one, she can counter hit launch me with back four. Whereas if I was playing a different character with a minus one down four one, I could do down four one into down four one. The second down four one would come out in 14 frames. You know, it wouldn't be counter hit launchable. So she's obviously deficient in rushdown tools. So you as the player should pick a character that fits your game, uh, your game plan. But remember, just how I said she might be deficient, I also just demonstrated how you could rush down with Asuka. So every character can do everything, but some just have strengths in some places and weaknesses in others. And likewise, when you are fighting an opponent, you need to keep the character's game plan in mind, game plan in mind, but also the player's game plan. So, um, yeah, just a quick concept video. I might make, um, might be interested in making uh, videos on the individual game plans. I mean, not indiv <laughs> individual fundamentals, kind of, but that's a lot. So anyway, I hope this um, helps you out. Definitely go through, play with a game plan in mind. So you should constantly be thinking, okay, what do I want to do now? I want to keep you out. What am I going to use to keep you out? What are the functions? So what are your functions that you're going to use to keep out? Down forward four, down two, up forward three, even back three, you know, and then I want to rush down. Okay, I want to rush you down. So I want to get close, uh, down four one. If I'm at this distance, I want to do dash into uh, down four one. Stuff like that. I want to down four one and sidestep, down four, you know. So constantly be keep the fundamental in mind and know the functions that you want to do beforehand. So, uh, yeah, I hope this helps you out. Uh, thanks for watching.